Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So we're going to talk about my experiences so far with OBS and DaVinci's Resolve using AMD for the first time in a long time for recording and video editing. So this is going to be my experiences and what I've gone through so far and what I hope they'll end up improving on the OBS side. Because believe it or not, the OBS side is the problem. DaVinci's Resolve, it has plugins. That's kind of interesting, but DaVinci's Resolve is where I, it, OBS is where it's lacking most, okay? All right, where do we begin? First, haircut, done, okay? Uh, my hairline changed. I already explained it in a short. This needed to be regrown. There were some weird issues with it too, so. And uh, I completely shaved. It was nice. There we go, that's done and over with. And um, where do we begin? Well, I use FFmpeg VAAPI AV1 to record PCM audio because, well, it's compatible with DaVinci's Resolve out of the box on Studio. Uh, I set the CQP and I set this to zero. That's pretty much lossless, which is what I want. And the one millisecond time is just for whatever. Uh, it helps with quality as well, okay? Now, I could have used this. Where is it? Right here. But what the hell is that? Why are there so many settings? This is ridiculous. All of this just doesn't make any sense. None of it makes any sense. And the worst part is when you hover over it, the target usage to control and balance the encoding speed and quality. I get it. I do. But it doesn't work very well at all. And sometimes it freezes OBS completely, which is a problem. So instead of that, I found out that this is better. This is the best that you can get when it comes to OBS. Now, for streaming, uh, as always, I ignore the streaming service recommendations so that I can stream an AV1. And this, this is a lot better, okay? This is. This is my normal streaming bitrate. Max B frames are set to two because that's for fast motion gameplay and stuff in case I decide to do any. Uh, level is on audio, auto, and variable bitrate. I mean, I can set it to constant bitrate. I have the internet for it, but I just, I don't know how AMD is going to react to it. We are going to test this later today with streaming, probably after I'm done editing and uploading this video. And yeah, so far it seems to be, you know, okay with the recording side. Now there are some minor issues when it comes to the recording side. And, um... I want to show you. Chaotic AUR. We're heading to the Chaotic AUR for a reason. And that is because this background is incredibly hard to get visually appealing on anything AMD encoder wise. It's the perfect test for quality because NVENC, it's crystal clear. You don't have to do anything. Even on the lowest bit rate, you'll get no pixelation, no block issues, nothing whatsoever. But when it comes to AMD, there's a lot of actual problems. And I don't know if I can actually show you any of them because I do save a lot of things. Like when I go to screenshot certain things, um, I do end up keeping a lot of them. But I'm not sure that's what I did. I'm not even sure which version of... Um... What kernel are we on right now? We are on the 6.15 one. And this is AMD only Bish. So this is the one. All my stuff is here. Okay, great. Does that mean that we also have my videos in here? No. That means we have them in here. Okay, so this is the first one that I took a video of. Or it's the last one, I'm not sure. No, this is the one with quantumization. Okay, so this isn't it. Uh, is it this one? Nope. Okay, that's a different video altogether. Uh, I, I don't know which one's which. That's the problem. I think I may have deleted them already. But that background right there is a huge problem for AMD encoders, even on Windows. I did test that on Windows. So overcoming this was my goal, and I think I nailed it. I think I've, I've, I think I've overcome it. I really do. So the OBS situation, 
is good. It works. It functions. It's just a pain in the ass to set up because with NVENC, I go in, I set slowest, best quality. I set to 25k bit rate and I'm good. Same thing when it comes to streaming. There's just a few options set and forget. But with AMD, you got to install a whole bunch of stuff and, you know, not all of it's going to work. Now we need to talk about some things, okay? Uh, where is it? Memory and GPU. It's there. Good. Hit save. Hopefully it starts up. Is it actually going to start up? Are you? Great. So opening this up, um, you'll notice that we do have the AAPI encoding and de uh, decoding in here for rendering out the video. Uh, it rendered out in 5 minutes and 50 seconds. It's a 7 minute video that was in 4K 60fps. So that is actually really good speed. Uh, and then I did it again, but with Zluda and Zluda was even faster, right? But I still have to get a hold of that. I made a GUI for that to make that easier. And I'm going to test that this, uh, this week, but the plugins that you can use are FFmpeg resolve and if you do that this will pop up right here uh, DaVinci's resolve FFM encoder plugin okay and it works well it does that's also in here uh, if we go to I believe h265 you'll have the VA API FFmpeg thing and constant bitrate like you set the factor I go to high I, I want to put zero like I want to have it lossless I do I don't care about the size of the video I want everything to look good for you that's what about that's what sets me apart from most other content creators is I like the quality of my videos and you know I've had people tell me that that's not important but it's important to me because it's an archive of what I've done it's a part of my life I have videos from seven years ago that look better today than most content creators because they're recording in H.264 still. You get this blockiness, you get this, there's like too much noise and it's just, it doesn't look good. And as an archive, I want my footage to look as good as possible. I want to be able to go back and be like, God, my audio, my commentary was cringy as crap, but at least this video looks good. like. There's a history lesson in my current new video section on Discord, and what it shows in a nutshell is that it's an Antragos video from seven years ago. It looks great. It looks like I recorded it today because I put a ton of effort into that video, and that's what I appreciate most about NVENC. It, you get the best quality possible. AMD needs to catch up on that. The OBS developers need to give AMD some actual love and realize that these new GPUs can do a lot more than is letting on. And once that's done, once we have like all that really cool ability, I mean, content creation on AMD is going to be a lot better. I, I hate this. I really do. So I like OBS. That can be fixed. That's great. Resolve is just it's plugin. Right? You have to grab the right plugin, and it's easy to do from the yay. Installation of plugins, like if you grab some, if we go and actually I show you the plugins, uh, I will make a comprehensive video on how to set all this up if you're on an AMD GPU. I don't use the D, uh, Pro drivers or anything like that. I don't want to. So if we go in here, we need to create a plugin folder, capital I O P, and then you know the rest of plugin in here. I have two of them. This one is currently work in progress. It doesn't output AV1. This is the one that uh, I just showed you now, the FFmpeg encoder, right? So there's all of that. But that's the installation process. Like as long as it looks like this and the end result is this file, then you're good. Anyway, that has been my experiences so far with OBS. Those are the things that they can improve the developers. And Resolve is kind of hit and miss unless you go lossless. I suggest going lossless on your videos if possible. If, if you can deal with the upload speed, 
do it, but if you can't, find a factor that works for you, okay? Remember, the higher the number, the less quality you're going to have, but the smaller the file size will be. Thank you guys for watching. I hope uh, this helps, and I'll leave some plugins in the description below for DaVinci's Resolve. They only work on Studio, and I'll see you guys next time.